My name is Jeff Batchelor. I'm the Director of Code Enforcement for the City of LaPorte. I used to work for the Department of Corrections for 30 years, uh, 20 years in the State Prison, 10 years at the Kimball Center in Mount Point. Um, I started January 6th as a Code Enforcement Director. Um, with that being said, our focus for Code Enforcement is going to be that uh, we clean up the City of LaPorte by following the ordinances that are already in place. One of the things that we're going to focus on is rubbish and trash. And when I talk about rubbish, I'm talking about mattresses and wood products and that stuff that's just uh, laying outside of your house that's out by the road that we're going to have to call somebody to come pick up trash. There's stuff that's up next to the house that's next to your fence that's just laying throughout your yard that needs to be picked up. Uh, then we talk about uh, furniture and appliances, any kind of furniture or appliances that are just laying around that's been put out there. We're going to have to make a phone call and... We're going to have to take and make sure somebody comes and picks it up. We're also going to take a look at fences to make sure that all the fences are uh, up. If they need to be repaired, they need to be repaired. If they need a protective coat on it, then we'll take and put a little warning that says, hey, you need to take and uh, get a protective coating on your fence. And that also goes along with if you have paint peeling on your house or your garage or anything like that. Um, Vacant houses is another area that I haven't really spent that much time on, but I am going to take and spend a lot more time on. Uh, there's a lot of vacant houses in the city of Laporte, so that'll be my focus probably after we get a little bit farther into this progress here. Uh, another thing is people parking their cars on their grass. Any green surfaces, you cannot do that. You need to have something underneath your grass or underneath the car so you're not just directly parking on the grass. Uh, the, the last one that we're really focusing on is junk cars. People get a misunderstanding of junk vehicles. Junk vehicles does not mean the, pe the car is junk. What it means is that it may not be registered. It needs current license plates and the tags on them. If um, it's expired, if it's up on jacks and not have tires on it, it just needs to be fixed. There are junk cars, though, that need to be towed and that stuff. And that's one another thing that we're addressing, too. Um, one of the focuses that we're going to be taking and doing is the citywide cleanup. It was already scheduled, but we had to uh, cancel it because of COVID-19. One of the things that we are going to take and do is reschedule it. Uh, once I find an exact date, we'll be putting that out. So hopefully that'll probably be at the latest by the end of the month, 1st of June. Um, I have a couple workers that work for me, Dan Drake. He's been with the city for 12 years and Brian Keith just came on full time down in my area. If you need to get in touch with me, my phone number is 219-362-0149. And my email address is jbachelor at cityoflaporteinn.gov. Thank you.